I am totally turned over with surprise and, and pleasure. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. I think it's in the nature of competitions that there's always a big element of chance and luck. A different day, different weather, different circumstances. It might have been someone else. And I give my warmest good wishes and congratulations to the other shortlisted nonfiction writers. And um, well, nothing is a given. Everything, everything is in the in the lap of uncertainty. But oh, I'm completely overwhelmed. <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, it's an interesting question. I have plans, um, not entirely easy to pursue while the present restrictions um, are still in force. So we'll see how they develop when things become a little more relaxed, when venues open up. Um, and in the meantime, I'm I'm working from secondary sources. There are a number of people I'd like to thank. Firstly, at my publishers, Pen and Sword, my editor, Claire, my copy editor, Karen Burnham, um, and the publicity team. You've all been wonderful. Thank you so much for your support. At Martha Tidville, I'd like to thank Steve Brewer, who runs a wonderful local history blog. Um, and Chris, Chris Parry at Cabathva Castle. Both of them have been very helpful. Thirdly, at the National Library of Wales, um, Dr. Radian Davis and his team in the South Reading Room. Working there has been a total pleasure. I'm very grateful to you. Members of my family, my husband, David, my daughters, Juliet and Rosie, you've been a big support. Thanks so much. <laughs>